The universe is vast, mysterious, and awe-inspiring. Does the universe have a sound? In the wake of the Big Bang, what was the first celestial body like? Cheng Jifeng, an antenna technician at the Communication, Telemetry, and Telecontrol Research Institute, China Electronics Technology Group Corporation, is hard at work testing a newly constructed medium frequency antenna. Once this task is completed, he will travel to South Africa, where he will oversee the final installation of this telescope. SK is a very large international project to build the most sensitive radio telescope ever built. And it's been built as a radio telescope array. The name comes from the idea of having one square kilometer of collecting area. On March 12th, 2019, seven founding members, Australia, China, Italy, the Netherlands, Portugal, South Africa, and the UK, signed the SK Observatory Convention in Rome, pledging to construct a giant radio telescope array. South Africa was chosen as the site for the SK's medium frequency antennae due to its clear view of the southern sky and minimal radio interference. As the lead organization of the SK Reflecting Antenna Work Package Consortium, the Communication, Telemetry, and Telecontrol Research Institute, CTC, in collaboration with research institutions from South Africa, Italy and other countries has taken on the responsibility to construct the SK antenna structure. Because we're trying to detect such weak signals from almost the dawn of the universe, we need a huge collecting area. To achieve high resolution, radio telescopes must have a large aperture. Since the diameter of a single dish telescope is limited, astronomers use interferometry combining radio telescopes around the world to explore the deepest mysteries of the universe. Uh, our Chinese colleagues, um, one of the big areas in which they're involved is the design and construction of the dishes. They have been incredibly innovative. Nadim Uzer is a commissioning scientist for the SKA project in South Africa. His role involves conducting scientific experiments to test the telescopes, ensuring all components are functioning correctly, and monitoring the signals in real time. So here we are, Bruce, after a long road trip, the Karoo Array Telescope. Amazing, wow. KT7, consisting of seven radio telescopes, is the precursor to the SKA project. So here we are. Amazing. Seven. Beautiful. Yeah, you can see. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven is at the back. So what are the dishes actually made of? Ah, uh, it's uh, fiberglass. Wow, it's just like a surfboard. Same thing, same material. This is like Dutch it. And it's incredible to also look at these telescopes that are picking up signals that have traveled for hundreds of millions of years. They've crossed the universe to be picked up and captured and which will give us the clues we need to unravel the you know, mysteries of the universe. The SKA project will probe into deep space to get data regarding the gravitational fields of pulsars and black holes. It will also explore exoplanets and potential life forms. SKA also has the potential to look back in time to observe the very first celestial bodies to emerge in the wake of the Big Bang. The SKA is many things. It's a science project, it's research and development, it's engineering, it's science diplomacy, pulling uh, countries and governments together to develop an international project. Uh, but above all, it's driven by uh, the insatiable curiosity of humans to understand our place in the universe.